This is Covert Agent Ravage, and you are watching another Mollwave Transformers review. Hey everybody, Malwave here, and I'm here with another Transformers video review. Today, I'm going to be reviewing a toy that I got for my birthday, from my lovely girlfriend. She basically asked me, Brent, what do you want for your birthday? And I told her, a Transformer. Mostly specifically this one. And she grabbed it. And I'm so glad it was a birthday gift. Because it's one of the more fun toys that I own. So ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the video review of Reveal the Shield Preceptor. And yours truly needs to zoom in so you can see the toy a bit better. Uh, now Preceptor transforms into what can only be described as a truck with tra with tank treads. Good God, my hand looks big when it's zoomed in. Anyways, it's basically, um, I like to say it's sort of reminiscent of his Transformers animated design. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to actually provide a picture, but if, it, if it'll happen, it'll be here. And, doesn't really roll all that great. And it does, otherwise, though, it does make it seem like an actual, like an, an all-terrain exploration vehicle. Like someone who would get in this thing and go across mountains to do geological surveys. Uh, you zoom in, you see the, hang on. Aha, autofocus, you are awesome. You see the, um, what, what, the, uh, lights on the top? Hold on. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just recovering slightly from a cold. I, I love the detail put into the track tank treads on the side. You see every little bit of a, of a pipe and a connector. I, Mr. Five, Mr. Five One Four Oh Nine. I wish I knew what that meant. If someone can tell me, please. It's it's a reference to something. I just don't know what it is. Um, and one thing I really like, Chrome. This is probably one of the few times that I've seen Chrome on a new toy, which it's very good to see, because I missed the Chrome on toys. Sadly, this toy does suffer from one problem. The dreaded underbot syndrome. As you can tell, there's his arms, and there's his feet. It's not as bad as you would think, but when you can see his arms, pieces, which are also Chrome, underneath, you know there's something wrong. Otherwise, though, I'm not going to knock the toy for that bad. And actually, just for a little fun, since I can, and since I'm so since I'm so prepared, I'm just like I'm going to do a perceptor review. And I hit my door. I'm going to do a perceptor review, and I'm not going to be prepared for it at all. Herp to dirt. But no, just for a little fun, let's compare it to something that we all know sh it should be compared to. Just uh, zoom out. <laughs> yep. Uh, now, just on a side note, this isn't the original Perceptor I had. But, yeah, I can still has Perceptor kick. Yeah. But yeah, um, size class wise, this is smaller. But anyways, now that that's out of the way, it's time for the transformation sequence. Uh, now for this one, I'm going to just do it different. I think it's a lot easier if I just explain how to transform it a little slower. That way people can actually do it. Because I think the editing for the whole transformation sequence, it takes way too damn long. That's that's kind of on a complete on a complete tangent. That's why it takes so long to do some of these videos. Not only because I'm a lazy fucktard, but also because the editing just for the transformation sequence, it's like I think I spend one day on it in itself. It's like, oh just one day. Trust me, one day for me is a lot. But yes, um to transform perceptor. Put my notes here somewhere. Uh first thing you want to do is you want to take this top piece and there's a little slide here. Just slide it out. So now you have the top gun piece. You want to take these. You want to pivot it or 
you want to pivot it around and detach these two little tab pieces on the side fold this up fold these around and these will tab together this is kind of I don't know how Pia does it this is kind of hard there flip up the little viewer and fold this down now you have perceptor side cannon I'll just fold that sort of sideways so you can get to it next you want to take the actually you know what I'm gonna zoom out you want to separate wanna it's kinda hard you wanna uh, fold these up here and there are these two little holes here a tab up here it's, it's on kind of a double joint so you wanna pull this joint to its full extent swing that down and then yeah okay and then just push separate the legs and fold the foot around fold the foot around you want to take the leg and it sort of it how it works is it's on a slide so it slides up and then it pivots it pivots outward so I'll show you from the back on this on his this leg you want to pull it down on its note joint and then it'll slide up take the take the hands just fold them oh Oh, we're good. I thought I broke it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit. I pulled the Masterpiece Megatron on camera with, with Perceptor. So just fold that out of the way. I would recommend untabbing this first. Just so that way you won't stress this joint. But if you're an idiot like me, do it that way. Uh, take this waist piece. And push it in so it sits there. You see generally the base, the general part of, general base of Perceptor. You want to take the back P, you want to take, just keep the arms mistransformed for now. You want to slide this, you want to untab this from the side here. You want to pull that around, push it in, and pull it down. And then that forms sort of the heel for the foot. Then take the door, swing it around, and there are these two little tabs here, and these two little tabs here. And those push together. And that's how the door remains stationary on the back of the leg. So I'll just do that quickly here, just so we, we can move on. It took me a while to figure that out. I'm like, okay, the doors just sit there, what? Alright, now that the, that's done, just foot's on a ball joint. You want to take the top piece, you want to push this little white piece up. And that will reveal Perceptor's head. You want to take the windshield, fold it down, fold it. You want to take the wheels, or take the arms, my bad, and separate them. And you want to rotate them, I recall, rotate them 180 degrees like this. And then take this whole section and rotate it around like that, and then the windshield just kind of folds up. And just kind of then just rotate the arms around to fit and there you have reveal the shield there you have reveal the shield perceptor in robot mode I'm just gonna scoot the tripod closer so I don't have to zoom in because I'm again incredibly professional and yeah perceptor is amazing it just take it just takes a bit but eventually, you'll get to it. Very nice. Work. And again, I'll, I'll compare him to his original Generation 1 self, which probably should. There. <laughs> now he has a head. I say, I could get a head in life. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, actually, the set. Uh, never mind. Um, but yeah, uh, articulation I will say is about as good as the G1 for its day. His head has 360 degree rotation to some degree. For the most part, it's only side to side. However, his arm is on a ball joint and can still pivot on the joint. Though I don't think you want his arm down there. 
His elbow pivots 360 degrees and bends almost completely 180 degrees. I wish that had been a double joint, that would have been perfect. Uh, the hand rotates 360 degrees. These also turn, just so you know. He has no waist articulation, unfortunately. His thighs are ball jointed and also rotate 360 degrees. He's got knee articulation and his feet are on ball joints. So in all for articulation, I'm going to score Perceptor at a 23, or at a 22, my mistake. And since I haven't done a review in a while, I forgot to score the vehicle mode. So the vehicle mode also gets 22 because of the flaws that I stated earlier. I'll just throw that in earlier in, in the video just so I can amend it. And yes, before you, any of you ask... Ha! Ah! But even more importantly... Ha! Ah! Perceptor kick! Dual perceptor kick! Ah, that's ought to be fun. Ha! Ah! I have too much fun with this. As my girlfriend says, you're very passionate about your hobby. Damn straight I am. Okay, gimmicks. Uh, 15. For once, I want a toy where I can review it, where the gimmick doesn't shit look like shit. Perceptor only has one gimmick. Okay, well, I guess you can count this while folding down. And that's the Reveal the Shield tag, which for some reason works really well on this. But yes. Rub that. You have the Reveal the Shield tag. Which you can barely see behind the glass when it's at a certain point. Um, I guess aside from that, you have the missile, but it's like, I'm gonna get you. So... He's not all that not all that great in the gimmick section. I mean, at least with G1 Perceptor, he had the ability to turn into an actual microscope to some to some degree. Uh, the fun factor, I'm scoring the visual shield Perceptor at 23. Perceptor is a very nice transformation. The Perceptor, well, eh, I'll get to that in a minute. But Perceptor, very na very per very articulate. He's very, he's got no loose parts that can be a choking hazard to kids. He turns into a, he turns into a truck. Kids love trucks, I suppose. You know, he's got this part. And this part actually is one of the reasons why I said it would be a, he got such a, a low fun factor rating. is because if a kid goes like, <laughs> exact same with the G1 Perceptor. If, this, if a kid decides to yank down on this thing, it's coming off. If a kid yanks on this, it comes off. There's a lot of ball joints, so if an arm just goes boink, you just go back on. Um, and otherwise, I will say, if your kid did not know who Perceptor was, this is probably a good introduction for him, for him or her. However, there are two things that make it worse. The fact that his transformation is a little complicated for most kids, and two, he doesn't come with a gun. Now, I've seen most people either making their own gun, or putting Blur's sniper rifle in his hand. And that's all fine and dandy, but either way, he doesn't come with a gun. So overall, despite some of the small little inconsistencies that I've mentioned, he still, Reveal the Shield Perceptor, still gets an 82 out of 100. It's a great toy. It's a toy that I am incredibly happy to own. And I also, I'm incredibly happy that I got it as a birthday gift. But if I hadn't, if I hadn't got him as a birthday gift, I would have still, I would have spent the fifteen ninety two at Walmart just to buy this toy, and I would have paid that money happily. It's worth every penny, and if you get the chance to, you buy it. So until next time, this is Malwave with Reveal the Shield Perceptor and G1 Perceptor signing out. See you everybody.